Hey everybody, the Gaming Guru 51 here, and welcome back to Conquer's Bad Fur Day. In the last episode, we defeated the Terminator disguised as a haystack. Or was it the other way around? We really have no idea at this point. In this episode, we're going to enter this building over here, which can only be entered after defeating that Terminator haystack thing. So let's go ahead and go inside. What are you looking at? Nothing, sire. Good. Oh, I think I can hear him. Yurika, Yurika! I found it, I found it! Yeah, yeah! Yurika! Ah, ah there you go! <laughs> so, never guess what? I think I have found the problem. We have here, if you look, the table. If you analyze the table closely, as I have done, most particularly, you will see that there is a gap. And we are not talking any old gap here, my lord. It is a sizable one. Now, milk goes here. What happens? We have the fulcrum here, the milk here. The weight problem, not good. Milk falls off because of a gap. Yeah. That is what is the problem. Take up. Hmm. I think I see. And the solution? Ah, now this is where it gets complicated. I was mulling over what would fit in the gap. I tried many things. I tried elephants, pot plants, uh, many things. Elephants? But the one thing, and I was sure of it at the time, I was sure it was a rodent. Sure enough, it was. This one. Various squitchtelius. To use the proper vernacular. To the layman, the red squirrel. This red squirrel. Hmm. Yes. Squirrel. I've heard of them. Yes. So? So it's a simple, my liege. We need... A squirrel. And we put him here. You know spill your milk? We don't get duct tape. Hmm. Gentlemen. Yes, my liege. Get me one of these red squirrels. Yes, my liege. Well then. Looks like we know our problem now. Hey, hello there. How are you doing? Hi, hi, how are you doing? Come on, come in now. Yeah, sit down, what do you want? Oh, this, this place really smells. Ah, uh, well, if she were like dung beetles and you rolled the poo around, f knows what's for. Oh, really? If you want some, you want some poo? Um, uh, uh, Alright, get your f ass in there. There's these f cows. Get them in there. Get them to crap. And I'll make you a ball of poo. And you can do what the hell you like with it. Go on, on your break. You still here? F that. Oh, charming. Uh, okay, so we have to make cows poo to get poo. Anyways, <laughs> so we know the problem now. Um, so they need a red squirrel to put under his table so the guy doesn't drop his milk off his table. What a great villain. I mean, seriously, that's like grade A stuff going on there. Anyways, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to climb this thing. And now, let's see here. I'm supposed to go over there, so can I make this jump from here? Uh, okay. What I'm supposed to do, or what you're supposed to do, rather, is jump up here, and it's kind of difficult at first, and you're supposed to go this way. Uh, and at that point, you can just jump right down, and if we take a look around here, there's really nothing to be had, so we're just gonna just continue on forward. We did hear some money a little bit ago, but we can't really get it right now, so we're just gonna, again, ignore it. Ah, right, don't see any poo here. Oh, hey, uh, excuse me, hello? Yeah, you. Uh, whoa, <laughs> friendly type. I'm looking for some poo. I know it sounds pretty strange, but... Oh, uh. Red. Red. I don't like red. I hate red. Go away. Whoa. Take it. He doesn't 
like red. What? I don't see anything red around. Oh. Here we go again. Okay, so this bull over here does not like red. Uh, kind of a little thing about bulls not liking red flags or whatever from those rodeo things. I have no idea. Um, what you're supposed to do, and it took me a while to figure this out my first time playing as well, so I wouldn't be surprised if you guys struggled with this a little bit. You're supposed to climb up here to where all these freaking balls of shit are. Yes. Isn't this great fantastic, everybody? I said great. Game fantastic, everybody. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go over here and just spin this thing around. Just keep doing that, and something unique will happen, which will happen right now. Now, logic would denote that something that drinks that is going to get the screaming squit. Hmm. Ah, that looks distinctly like a target. And there we have a bull. Yes. I think I get it. Okay, so this is where things start getting really interesting. Yes, anything that drinks this liquid is going to get the runs. And what we're supposed to do, we're supposed to lure this bull over to this switch, or this, uh, this target, and something also special is going to happen, so let's just make that happen as quickly as possible, because this is one of the, uh, whole, more hilarious parts of the game, for sure. So, come over here, bull, just run into the switch, there we go. Oh, ah, ah, a cow. Now that could be useful. Right, this looks like it needs a little bit more hands-on control. He's a bit of a wild one. Mm -hmm. That time again, is it? Oh, I see Bugalugs is out here again. No, oh, no. Oh, that's a nice little patch. I think I'll have a little bit of grass. Moo. Need to get her over there somehow. Hmm. Alright, so. We have a cow over here. I have no idea what this bull is doing at this moment in time. We also have a target over here. So, just like with the last target, we're going to make this bull run into this target. And, once we do that, we can go ahead and jump on the bull. Isn't this fantastic? Now we have a little bit of control over the bull. It's kind of hard to control at first. But what we're supposed to do is we are supposed to get behind this cow. Uh, so if I can just do that. And I believe if we press the Z button, we need to ram into her behind. Stop, you nonsense, young man. Goodness me. I've quite lost my appetite now. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go for a little meander over here. Hmm. Actually, I feel a bit thirsty. A nice little beverage should wash this tasty grass down lovely like. This looks quite nice. Looks to be cranberry. Prepare for yourself, everybody. Just prepare yourself for what's about to happen here. Exactly what you should this be is seeing. Far from dignified. Oh, I hope maybe she's not allowed to see this. Oh, never any end of it. Oh, 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 that's a bit. Oh, hey, it's a bit of a. Oh, that's. Ah. Oh, I'll just stay here for a while, just in case. You never know. Looks like he's just about ready to go. So, what do you do after you make this freaking cow take the biggest load of shit? Well, I'll tell you. Yep, you have to kill it. It is the best thing ever. <laughs> this freaking game. Now, I guess you can consider this like a boss fight to where you have to do this a couple of times. Um, here we have to repeat this cycle two more times. Making cows appear, ramming the bull into this thing, and he didn't run into the, uh, the target there, which is kind of odd. I guess it's a little finicky if it's kind of close. Let's just have him back up really quick, and then we can have him run into the switch again, and or the, the, the target, and then repeat the cycle once more. So now that he's done that, we can jump on him, like so, and let's ram into this cow's backside. 
I believe we have to do it twice before the cow actually goes to the prune juice. Yes, that is prune juice, I believe. So, yeah, we have to do it one more time. Um, if you go too far off with the bull, uh, it will actually throw you off to the edge if you go off there like that. So now that that is done, we have to wait a little bit before the cow goes over to the, the juice. Uh, the cow will drink the juice. She will take the biggest load of shit in the world. And we can just destroy her. <laughs> like, where do you do this anywhere else? So after that, we kill her. Alright, so now we have to do this one more time and we should be good to go. So, let's just wait for the bull. Yeah, first time, like, for the first time playing this game, this part gave me a ton of trouble. Then again, like I said before in the last episode, I believe, this game doesn't really tell you what you have to do. You kind of just have to explore around and hope you figure something out that works. Um... Surprisingly enough, that is the case with this game. Donkey Kong 64, I don't think, had this problem. But it's still a fun game once you can figure out what to do. I mean, seriously, I don't recommend this game enough. Alright, so let's just... Oh, yep, see, so if you go too far... I don't know why it didn't even hit the freaking thing there, which is kind of annoying. But that is the case. So let's just get this bull over here and have him hit the target, and we can try this again. For some reason, this bull likes to have a bit of a finicky problem running into the the cow. So let's try... Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Or, no, it did. Okay. So I believe this time we have to hit the cow three times before it goes over to the juice. Alright, so let's just do a little spin around the area. And then that's a perfect angle. And... Ram! And then we just do it one more time until she has to go poo, and then we can destroy her, and then <laughs> we'll be good to go. So, and there we go. So now we wait for the cow to do its thing, to do its business, you know, take the biggest shit. I mean, seriously. <laughs> this is seriously Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, everybody. This game continues like this all throughout, and it's, it's hilarious. I don't even know. Alright, so the cow is taking the poo. And what's left to do? Well, goodbye. Why am I such a fat <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hmm. Seems to be filled up with poo. Yep, we did the thing. So let's jump down. Yes, guys. Not only do we have to make the cow shit, we have to swim in it as well. Are you kidding me right now? I don't even know. So we press B on this pad. Come for that pill. Hmm. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Hey, I feel a lot more confident. Yeah, don't need these anymore. And if I'm a lot more confident, then I should be able to swim underwater now. Hmm, how would I do that? Let's see. You've got to be kidding me. Press B, and that should submerge me. Then, once I'm underwater, hold down B to make me swim. Point the control stick in the direction you want to go. That's it. Um, are you sure you've got that? Yes, unfortunately. But no, he was not exaggerating. We are going to have to take a nice little dive in the shit. So if you press, if you hold down the B button, we can in fact go swimming under the shit. Um, this could be a bit tricky. Because Conqueror's face over there gets more and more needing of air over time. And over here, we have, of course, some money! Here I am, you greedy bastard! Yeah, more Spondooly. Okay, I honestly have no idea what Spondooly is. 
Uh, Conquer does say that a lot, a little bit throughout the game, and I don't really know what that is. So I believe, yeah, we kind of only get to go over here just for the money. So what we have to do at this point is we need to go all the way down here. So let's just do that. And if... I think something else happens, doesn't it, in here? I don't think so. So if you come out here, then... Yeah, there it is. Over there. Big ball of poop. Oh, thanks. You're welcome to it, mate. Yeah, thanks. Alright, so we have the ability to take this poo and do some stuff with it. Now, what do we do with this big ball of poo? Well, next time on Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, we're going to be doing some stuff with it. And I know I keep ending it off like that, but I'm going to be doing it. We're going to be utilizing this big ball of shit next time. So, with that being said, thank you guys so very much for watching. And I'll see you next time for some more of Conker's Bad Fur Day.